Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to explain a 1986 romantic and comedy movie named, What Every French Woman Wants. Warning, spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. At the beginning of the movie we see Roger, who is coming home from his school holidays, and Miss Lapita, the maid of that house had come to take her. When those people are coming home, Roger starts looking at Miss Lapita's melons, she knows what Roger is seeing but ignores him as a child. When he comes home and meets to his mother, she noticed some movement in his pants and she says why are your pants wet? Actually, on seeing Maid, he was very excited, due to which he is in this condition. But then Roger's Aunt Margaret comes and says that, this is normal at this age. Next, Roger meets his sister, whose name is Bertha. Roger and Bertha understand each other very well. One day Bertha takes Roger for a walk outside. While they are roaming in the forest, they find Lapita, the maid of the house in the forest and talks to them. After a while, Roger is walking alone in the forest, Suddenly his foot slips and he falls and then he hears a voice. When Roger looks in the bushes, his housemaid has been intimate with someone. She sees Roger and starts smiling at him. Roger runs away seeing all this. Then, at night, when Roger is in his room, he hears some noise outside. When he opens the door, he sees that the maid of the house is almost half out, and from behind, he is getting intimate with someone. Her name is Helen, after Helen gets intimate, she leaves from there, but Roger does not know who that man was. After this, Roger is sleeping when Bartha comes to him and they both talk. Bertha tells Roger that our Aunt Margaret is still a virgin, she says, Helen had told me this, and she also says that she is afraid of men, so she is not even married yet. The next morning, Bertha takes Roger to the bank of the river, telling her that all the housemaids come here to bath. They hides. Then, after a while, the maid of the house comes to take a bath. Roger and Bertha kept secretly listening to him, then three men come there, who are also servants of their house. Seeing all the three maids, they starts urinating in front of them. After some days, we see Roger's father coming from town with Roger's older sister Elisa. All the members welcome him at home, Elisa also hugs everyone, but she just says hello to Roger and goes inside the house. Here Roger feels very bad. After a while, he is approached by Bertha, who takes Roger to the church, where he secretly listens to his aunt, who comes to the church father to apologize for his sins. Margaret says that I have committed a great sin that I have been in love with Roger ever since Roger came home, and she also says that in my dreams, I get intimate with him. Roger is listening to all this, he is overjoyed to hear this, but suddenly he falls down from the roof of the church, due to which father and Margaret learn that Roger was listening to them, so they take Roger to his mom and complains. His mom asks the father, what punishment he should get, then the father says that he should be beaten on his back. Roger's mom likes this, and she entrusts this work to Margaret. Margaret beats Roger a lot. Now Roger was sleeping upside down on the bed, when he hears the sound of the cup shaking, when he goes out of his room and sees. This time also Helen was stuck in the door and someone was getting intimate with her from behind. She leaves after this, and Roger still didn't know who the guy was. After a while our soul comes and she tells Roger that if you are feeling pain, I can apply cream, but Roger denies this and asks her soul that, who is the man openly gets intimate with Helen, so our soul says that this is the secret of us and after saying this she leaves from there. Then Roger thinks that maybe Mr. Frank will know, so he goes to his room, where he sees, Mr. Frank was looking at something through binoculars with his hand in his pant, but when he sees Roger, he leaves from there. After they leave, Roger begins to look through binoculars, where a man and a lady are dancing without clothes on the grass outside. After a while Roger finds a book, that had a lot of adult stories, Roger hides that book, and starts reading in a stable, but then a servant of the house comes there, and seeing him, Roger hides. Just then, Helen comes to feed chickens, the servant was seeing her and walks over to her and make her stuck in the window, and goes out and gets intimate with Helen. Helen screams, so Roger goes to help her, but Helen refuses to take his help because she was enjoying it now too. Now in the next scene, Roger goes to Elisa's room, where he replaces her book to his adult book, and sneaks outside to see if Elisa reads that book or not. Then after a while Elisa comes to the room and opens that book, but she starts shying after seeing the dirty photo, and hiding that book she goes out and starts reading. Roger sees that all the people in the house were enjoying the ecstasy, and he was the only one who had not yet touched anything. So he goes to Arshal in the kitchen, and without thinking he grab her back, at first Arshal gets angry and hits a plate on Roger's head, but later she sees Roger and agrees. Now when they are about to get intimate, a maid of the house comes, and on seeing that, Roger runs away from there. Now even from here Roger gets nothing. Now he thinks of Miss Lapita and he goes to her to try, at first Miss Lapita refuses her, but later she agrees, but then a postman comes there and informs them, that a war has started, here two Rogers remain lonely. All the people of that house is going in the war, 
So they hold a party in the house, and here Mr. Frank says that he has asthma, that's why he is not going to war. Now all the men were having fun with their women at night, because they had to go to war the next morning, but at the same, Roger was looking at them in despair. Now in the morning, all the men go to war. As soon as they leave, Roger goes to Arshal and gets intimate with him. The next morning, Bertha tells Roger that mom is about to confess to the priest, so come see what sins they have committed. Mom tells the father that my husband plays with me in different positions and I do also like it, but sometimes I also thinks that I am committing some sin. Hearing this, the priest says that you can do anything with your husband and there is no sin in it. In the next scene, we see Kate, a maid of the house who is sitting on the bank of the river, just then Roger comes there, and he gets intimate with her too. Roger waits for his aunt at night, after a while Margaret comes and Roger starts talking to her, he says, you are still a virgin, so I have come to help you. Hearing this, she gets nervous at first, but later she also agrees and Roger gets intimate with her too. Then after a while Helen comes for tea, she starts leaving, then Roger grabs her from behind and gets intimate with Helen. The next day Roger goes to the stables, where his sister Elisa was cleaning the horses, now here he starts with her, and she agrees, and Roger gets intimate with her too. Now there was a line of girls in Roger's room, one by one all girls goes to Roger's room, sometimes Roger used to call three girls inside at one time. One day Elisha tells Roger that she is pregnant, this makes Roger tense. Now the war was over, so all the men of the house had returned, then Arshal tells Roger that she is pregnant, Margaret also tells him that she is also pregnant, now Roger starts thinking what to do, because, if her mom comes to know about this, she will kill him. Roger tells Elisa to go to his fiancé and make love to him, so that everyone will think that this child is your fiancé's. After this, he applies color to Elisha's bed, so that his fiancé thinks that Elisha is a virgin. Now Roger goes to Margaret and tells her to get intimate with Mr. Frank, so that he thinks that this is his child. Arshal marries a village man. After this the three women get married. While going to the hostel, Helen says that she is also pregnant, so Roger says that, I have to find a man for you too. Then Helen says that I have intimated with every man in the house and whoever I like, I will put this blame on him. And with this, movie ends. I hope that you enjoy this video, if you want to make sure you never miss a new upload, be sure to subscribe to the channel Mr. Explainer, turn on notifications and click the bell icon, you'll get a notification, whenever I upload a new video like this.